I'd like to give you a brief introduction and tutorial on how to use the Adobe Color Site. So this can be really helpful when you're trying to come up with a palette for a website or an app. You have the typical combinations that are described in any article or book about color theory. Um, if you've never studied these, you can see from what happens when you click one. For example, a triad is going to use colors from three parts of the color wheel. Complementary is going to use colors from two parts of the color wheel. Um, shades, custom, you've got these various options. So I'm going to start out with monochromatic because that's the simplest thing. And what, we, what you're looking at is five choices that came from where these hands are, like if this were a, a clock of some kind, right? So we can grab them and we can pull them around the wheel. So let's say we wanted a very blue kind of palette, right? So we will automatically get five shades of blue by dragging the hands on the color clock into an area of the dial. All right, now how do you get the hexadecimal codes that you need to put into your style sheet? They are right down here, cleverly labeled hex. What I suggest you do is grab it and copy it and paste it into a plain text document. And uh, perhaps you want to describe it as, um, let's see, uh, steel gray blue, something like that. All right, back here. Uh, and now the next color, right? Copy it, paste it. Oops, did that wrong. And what should we call that one? Uh, pale, pale blue. It's just helpful if you have some kind of description of what the color is. All right, I'm going to copy with Command C and paste with Command V. And what was that? That's kind of a like a sky blue. The fourth one. Really a gray. The fifth one. Kind of a deep, deep sky blue. Or maybe I want to say deeper. Right, and then uh, if I save these, save it just as a text file. Um, let's see, and uh, my palette.txt, and then you're going to have these colors, and you can use them in your HTML. Now, one last thing about uh, the site. If you are looking at, say, complementary colors, you're actually getting kind of a set across the dial. And if you're out to the edge of the dial, you're going to get really intense, heavy colors that kind of, it would maybe hurt your eyes on a website if all the colors were this intense. So you want to pull the hands of the clock in toward the center to get more subtle colors. Then you can get some really nice, um, you know, not so abrupt, not so garish, right? So you can choose these different, you can choose these different combinations and take the hand around the dial and see what you get. And then remember to scroll down and copy each one of your hexadecimal codes and paste them into a plain text file so that you've got them. And then you can also use these codes in Photoshop. 